All right, so I'm doing a tutorial for beat mixing in Audition 3. Uh, I've already found my beat loop, which is 107 BPM. I used uh, Mixmeister BPM Analyzer to find uh, some tunes out of our CHR library here that are relatively close. So I picked um, I Bet My Life, which is 108, and Shawn Mendes, which is 112. Uh, I'm going to dump that one. I'm not going to use it. I could use it, I guess. I don't want to stretch them too, too much or else it's going to be noticeable. I want this to be noticeable without being noticeable, basically. That's what I think a successful beat mix does. So it's not stretching the songs too much, that it's totally making them something that they aren't, you know, and they weren't meant to be. It's kind of a disrespectful to not the artists, but the producers that actually create the music, you know. Um, the artists I don't care about, whatever. They're going to make this kind of music. Uh, I give the producers all the credit for these tunes, man, nowadays, these CHR tunes. Screw the artists. Whoever produces songs, I want to meet that dude because he's wicked talented. Okay, so now I'm going to take 16 beats out of this to match my 16 beats out of my drum loop. Uh, so all I'm going to do is cut that right on the beat. We'll do it in the multi-track. And then I'm going to find the one beat here. Little so it's right there. So I'm going to, the closer you zoom in to a point, the better you're going to have luck. So there we go. That's a, should be right on the one beat right there. It's all visual. So then I'm going to take that and it, you know what? I'm going to highlight this and just for purposes of this, I'm going to loop it and see if I got a good loop. There you go. That's a really good loop there. It's a good part because it starts the same and it ends the same. It ends at the same point that it comes back in. So it just makes it a lot easier to do. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this to match the 16 beats here, basically. So it's 16 to 16. Simple, right? Uh, so I'm going to stretch that over. Uh, I'm going to redo that. Hold on. See, I want to be able to see some beats while I'm doing this so I can line it up properly. Um, so I'm going to move this over just because it's going to be easier to see the multi-track. I'm going to minimize this as well. I just want to see as much of the file as possible so when I'm stretching it, I can see multiple beats actually fitting in the right spots. That looks pretty good, but is it off? That's the question. It's like it's in the halfway point there. I'm not quite getting in because it locks in. I'm going to cancel that and try it again. Oop. I mean, some songs are pretty easy to do. Other songs are harder. Uh, okay, let's do this again. There. Since I'm closer, it's a lot easier to get it more precise. That looks pretty damn good right there. I like that. So I'm not stretched out, so that just means that I didn't really have my loop done really well, to be honest. But it's all trial and error. I'm not using a huge phrase anyway. You could do this in, in four beats. I could have beat matched it to four beats too uh, if I wanted to. Uh, so I just want to check all my beats, see where they're at. You should do this right off the beginning. Make sure you're... That one seems off. You should do this at the beginning, though. Make sure you're happy with how it looks off the very get-go. Something just seems off here. It seems good enough. Good enough, but not perfect. Um, I'm not using going to be using a huge phrase of the song anyway. So as long as it's good for 16 counts, the more you use in the song, like if I were to stretch this out, uh, the more that I'm going to put within the song, the more and more it's going to get off and off and off. Like it will, you know, if I wanted to go song to song, I'd count every single beat in the entire fucking song. But I don't have that kind of patience. If you do 32 beats, it actually works out better. So if you do 32 beats, it will make your your... Um, your beats, your beat mix to your, your beat loop to your song, sorry, way more precise. 
if you're doing 32 rather than 16. So, but I'm not, as I said, I'm not using a whole song to mix. So I'm just using a, the chorus, which is fine. Uh, but if you're a super rank perfectionist, I would advise to use 32 beats instead. So now I've got Sean Mendez. Good enough. Uh, we can mute him for the time being. We'll put on Imagine, Imagine Dragons. And same thing. I want to loop this. I remember when so I'm going to take that. That's the one beat. Remember when two, I told three, you that's the last you see me? Remember, three, four, remember three, when two, I broke three, it down four, to you? Four, two, three, four. Remember? See? So that's going to go right back to the start of the song. Or to the start of that stanza anyway. So now if I loop this, it should be good, which I trust myself. And then the same thing. I'm just going to take it in. See, I'm not looping these very much. Now, if I was going, you know, if this was only uh, rather than a, a hundred and f um, eight BPM, if this was a hundred and BPM, it'd actually be back around here for the most part. And I'd have to stretch it way more, which would just make it sound garbage in my opinion. So same thing. Uh, I'm going to stretch it over and that looks good there. I didn't stretch it right to the end. I just, I think my beat loop is off. I think that's what it is. But as I said, I only had 16 beats to work with and the end wasn't going into the next beat, so it made it more difficult. So. That sounds pretty good. Um, so now, all I'm going to do is, because I did this in the multi-track, all I do, the originals are still the same. This is the original song, unmixed or unstretched. It's only stretched in the multi-track, so it's saved it. So now I'm going to pull that out to see what I want to actually mix into my beat mix. Something big, I feel it happening out of my control. Pushing, pulling it. So what I'm going to do is I want to take a part of the uh-oh thing. Some Excuse my singing. Like, oh, oh, oh. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to take that on the one beat so I know where the one beat is. Whoop. And then, to just get fancy, I, now that I have the songs how I want them, I can basically take any part of the song and make it work into where I want it, as long as it's feasible and it's on similar beat patterns. You know, or else it's going to sound stupid. So... I want that something part, but I want the chorus to be shorter because I don't want to use the whole thing. You know, uh, this is for a music promo, so I don't want to put in the whole thing. So I'm going to take a part of the O part, and then I'm going to go into the something part. Something, something, dark side. So what I'm going to do to accomplish that is fade it. So it's going to go O, 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 something, right? So you won't notice that it's not part of the original song. I'm just taking and slicing the chorus in half for my own purposes. So my beats are, my, my shit's off, obviously. Uh, you can hear it there quite easily if you're paying attention. Um, so I just gotta, I mean, trial and error, man. Everything's trial and error. And, and don't stop until you're happy, basically. Yeah, my beat loop was off, but too late to go back now. Never turn back. There you go. So now I'm just going to kill that for the time. And you know what? I'm just going to leave that in. I'll kill it here. I can always pull that back. I'm going to kill this here. Just give me more room to work. So now I'm going to go into Imagine Dragon. Z, Imagine Dragons. Because, you know, it's plural. Apparently there's more than one. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do here, so, so I want that part, so obviously so is on a 4 beat, so, and I is on a 1 beat, so. so I can tell that that's a 1 beat there, I mean if you, if you have never done music theory, or you don't know how to count, you're basically fucked, I mean this is going to be very difficult for you if you can't count beats, um, I mean, uh, kudos to you if you figure it out without having any music theory background.
but you're at a huge disadvantage, so I applaud you if you figure it out. So we got a good thing going here. So I, now because I can't hear so my good part come in here, I got to then fade this. And I'm probably going to do something to that too. I'll probably affect it or something. Uh, but I'm going to turn it down slightly. I find if you have fades, um, and I don't, I don't use fader or these faders too much. Uh, unless I'm doing some really, really precise work. I find if you have your fade in the middle, right? So the middle of my fade is the start of where I want it on this track. I find that it becomes very, very less noticeable that you have a fade there. I'd likely put an effect anyway, but I just find that if it's in the middle of the fade, it's usually pretty good. It's it's usually pretty solid. It's a solid it makes for a solid mix. So let's have a listen. So this, I want that to cut after that O. You know what? I kind of want it to cut before, or I want it to really, really take a sharp, uh, even more fade here. Now, if I had a lot of time on my hands, I'd probably make this way more precise. I might change this here. Put like a uh, EQ on it. Um, uh, a flange, something like that. Not a flange. Uh, yeah, maybe a flange. A phase. There you go. So, you know what? I'm going to take a sharp fade. We'll see how that sounds. Uh... So now, because this is so long and he keeps betting his life on something, I'd like to cut his bet short. No pun intended. Actually, there was a little bit of pun intended there. So there's that beat there. Uh, I'm going to cut that right there. And I'm going to go, I bet my life for you. There's the same beat. That's the same beat. At a different phrase. So now I can basically rework this song however I see fit. Oh, that's off, obviously. <laughs> Weak. Uh, let's pull this back out slightly. Find out where those beats are. Zooming right in is definitely the key, man, to making really, really precise, precise edits. And I'm making sharp edits here. I mean, you can you can do these fades and thing, but I don't use them. I, I'll use effects at very low levels after I'm done to make those melds sound a little bit more clean. And it's not going to be super noticeable. It'll sound like it's part of the song. That's the way I like to do it. And I should be turning all this stuff down too, like these, because I'm adding so much dB. I'm going to turn the tunes down by three. I'll turn the beat down by two for now. There you go. And then I might, you know, kill it there. Make a sharp kill. That's a good place to end right there. So now where I differ from every single other producer I know, and I mean, as I said, you know, it's not because I'm a leper or anything. It's just because I never really was taught this kind of stuff in school. I was taught in my parents' basement. Um, and, you know, for lack of a girlfriend, basically. Um, yeah, so... Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and because I don't like the way this ends, I see a beat there. I'm going to, now that I have it how I want it, basically, 
I'll master my levels. I'm gonna turn the beat down. I'm gonna turn this down by one more. I actually don't have my uh, Axia level thing working because of the way I have to have the sound card set up for this video. So I can't see what my levels actually are registering, basically. So it's making it somewhat difficult. So I have to go by audition, which is can be difficult. So now I've got it how I want it. I'm going to take this. I'm going to bounce, bounce this part down to a new track. This is totally me. If you want to do this in... in uh, multi-track all the power to you. I just I just don't do it like that Oh damn uh, Okay, so I'm gonna get uh, I need to take off this edge drag. It's very annoying Keep that there. We'll keep it muted. That's the original track still stretched this I've now mixed down um, and I'm, now I'm going to alter this directly in the sound file just because that's the way I do it. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a song in reverb on that I have uh, at my, in, my, in my favorites and then a longer reverb I also have my So it's just a sweet end, man. Sounds really stellar. Uh, Whoa, something big I feel it happening There we go. So, there you go. That's basically all there is to it, man. That's how you do a quick beat mix. And then you start getting crazy after that. I can do that real quick if you want me to. So now, I, all I would do now is I would take effects and I just, and, and voice, obviously. Randy, I'm going to give you all 99.5 hits now. That's me. That's a station I do down, uh, in the states uh so let's take that make sure you check them out online 99.5 hits now small station but they play some pretty good music and stuff 99.5 hits now uh whoa gary you sound so sexy see this is what i mean by destructive editing not a lot of people know not a lot of people i know do this but as i said it's just the way i learned how to do it I never did. This is how you do most editing. Most guys would use mixers and they'd apply those uh, and chain them all through the tracks that they're using. Um, I just, I always found that to be relatively time consuming too. I found to just apply the effects directly to the actual files was just, it, it sped up my productivity. And, and when I worked in a, a very, very intensely creative um, commercial position, it was fairly important that I was kicking things out very fast. Now that I'm in more of a creative um, actual position where they all they care about really is my quality of work, I can actually take my time. So, you know, I mean, to each his own, basically. It's the ultimate outcome that matters, you know, what the product sounds like when it comes out. That's, that's the only thing that matters. The way you get there doesn't really matter to me. Five hits now. Ninety nine five hits now. So the timing on me is I, I would really prefer it to match the actual beats. So I'm gonna duplicate this. I only need one. Ninety nine five hits now. So that's just gonna help me actually get myself in beat too. Because a lot of people don't think that the voice is just think of the voice as another track. It's music. It's just spoken music right so your your words should always be on beat as well you know that's what makes a really really good producer in my personal opinion everything lands where it's supposed to land 99.5 hits now 99.5 hits now 99.5 hits now so this would likely have a positioner in front of it too so 99.5 hits 
99.5 hits now. There you go. So now I'm just going to take a quick different position. Now. 99.5 hits now. 99.5 hits now. All the hits. All the hits. All. Batesville's hit music station. Batesville's hit music station. I like that delivery. Bates. You know what the hardest thing as a producer is to do? Produce yourself. Very difficult. I can produce anybody, man. I've produced everybody in the in the uh, lots of people in the vocal world, man. But I find producing yourself once you can do that, like you're set. Batesville's hit music station. Batesville's hit. Batesville's hit music station. Batesville's hit music station. Batesville's hills. Batesville's hit music station. Batesville's hit music station. Batesville's hit music station. Batesville's hit music station. So my timing's definitely off. You can hear it. I mean, if you can't, you should not even be watching this. Batesville's hit music. So hit is off. So I'm just going to stretch it. And if it sounds stupid, I'd go and I'd find a different phrase. That's why it's always good to have your voice guys give you multiple deliveries at multiple um, tempos, right? So for me, I'm going to give this Batesville's hit music station probably 30 times uh, in an original track that I send out. Batesville's hit music station. That sounds okay because it's slightly offbeat, but it still fits. And then we'll come in on uh, 99.5 hits now. Batesville's hit. Bates. 99.5. Batesville's hit music station. 99.5 hits now. Music station. 99.5 hits now. Station. 99.5 hits now. Hit music station. 99.5 hits now. Music station. 99.5 hits now. Batesville's hit music station. 99.5 hits now. Yeah, that delivery is off on that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna find a different one. Bates Batesville's hit music station. That one might actually work better too. Bates. It's gonna depend. Every every project's different, you know. This, as I said, production's all trial and error, for me anyway. Nothing's ever perfect until you make it perfect, basically. Let's try this one instead too. It might work better. Batesville's hit music station. That's way better. See, I didn't even have to stretch that. So that's way more natural. And that's why when I'm sending these uh, audio files. It's up, now. It's now. 99.5. Let's try that. We'll go 99.5 and then hits now. And maybe stop that down or something. 99. 99. 99. Batesville's hit music station. 99. Batesville's hit music station. 99. Station. 99.5. Station. 99.5. Station. 99.5. Station. 99.5. Station. 99.5. Batesville's hit music station. 99.5. Station 99.5 Station 99 Station 99.5 Station 99.5 Music Station 99.5 Music Station 99.5 Uh, ha ha This will all make sense after I've done it. It sounds really tacky right now. Hits now. All the hits. Hits. All. Hits. It feels hit. 24 six, tw music station music station five now it hits now it hits it hits now it hits. so I can take that from it hits now it hits. I can take that from anywhere I want to really it's now it hits now. 99 five it hits now Bill's hit music station 99.5 Bates. 
No, I don't want any of that. Hits now. 99.5 hits now. 99.5 hits now. See, that's how I want it. 99.5 hits now. 99. 99.5 hits now. There it is. That's the one. 99.5 hits now. 99.5 hits. As I said, it's all trial and error. Like, it's all, having a variation of takes is imperative. Batesville's Hit Music Station, 99.5 Hits Now. Hit Music Station, 99.5 Hits Now. Music Station, 99.5 Hits Now. Okay, that's good. So that's good enough for where I want it to be. Uh, obviously, this is not how I would, I would have, I would definitely have the calls at the start, too. Um, with effects in there too so i'm gonna go to uh uh alien imaging library which is from uh jeff uh schmidt if you don't know who this guy is uh you're crazy because he's wicked good he's a super talented producer and i bought all these on black friday from this stellar dude jeff is like i love his stuff his stuff really just seems to fit my uh, my production so well. Like, I don't know what it is. It's like we were friggin' brothers from a different mother or something. I just I really dig his stuff, and it's and it's buyout, which is so cool. See what I mean? I put that in there, man, and it works instantly. You know, like his effects are just solid, solid, solid. He's got lots of hits and rises and stuff, and that's kind of the stuff that I'm into. Uh, so basically, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to finesse this a little bit with effects. And I mean, they're not going to be loud in the mix. Like, you're not going to see me put effects in that are like, you know, no, man. I'm not. They're just there to finesse. They're not there to do anything but finesse what's already existingly decent. Like, it's already a decent mix without them. I'm just giving it a little bit of flash. And this is what you know, I would consider sometimes overproducing. But as long as it's solid before you actually apply the effects to it, it's just going to make it sound, it's going to put you at a whole different level. Oh, you can tell it instantly. Oh, so that's natural. And it sounds good. Oh, that's just slight. It's so slight to, I, I produce for myself. That's to my ear. Like I'm like, man, dude, I totally hear that in the background happening. Uh, okay, let's see what else. So if I was super, super, tons of time, I guarantee that this affects that Jeff's got here. It's got somewhat of a little, you know, you can see the stutter in it. I probably would stutter my ass on this. On this. So, so. But I don't have a lot of time to do that. I mean, I would definitely do it, though. And it's, it's so minuscule, but it would be super noticeable. It's the small, small details that are, like, just make you stand up. Whoa, what did I do here? So I'm going to put an effect in there too, even though I don't need one. Um, lots of cool things you can do. That's a phrase end right there. So I'm going into the next part of a, of an existing chorus phrase. I could I could flange this or something, right? Flange that or do whatever. I, I, I kind of like to have it as natural as possible. If the artist didn't feel that it, or, or the producer or artist didn't feel it was necessary to flange it, who am I to do that, right? See, that sounds terrible. It's not a good flange. It, it would be very, very... I'd make it so it was... Very, very minuscule. Very, very small. Batesville's Hit Music Station. 99.5 hits now. Batesville's Hit Music Station. 99.5 hits now. So, that sounds really plain back here, but we're going to try to beef that up quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to take that right out, so I want it to kill right after 
You. Beats Bills hit music. Beats Bills. So I was basically just keeping the beat in there because I wanted it as a guide uh, to fit the rest of my session. I mean, if I was just doing a regular session, I might not even have a loop. I wouldn't even have a loop in there. It's all, it's just the heartbeat of the session, right? I need that to make sure. I'm just pulling these Schmitz bits, man. Like, these are all, there's good stuff in all these. So I can just take. I didn't really care for anything in that one. Uh, that's pretty tight. That might be a good X out of the music. As I said, I, I tend to use effects, and I don't tend to make them super loud. Like, I just want them to be there. That's it's just for accenting. It's not for taking over. Bates Bills. 99. Bates Bills hit music station. Bates Bills. So something's off on this effect. So what I can do is I can make sure that it's going to be on in all his beats. See, these guys that know what they're doing, you can tell, like, this This is just fitting. It's fitting. You can t the, It's on beat already, and I haven't even done anything. That's a talented dude that can make effects to fit any variance of sessions, man. Like, that's really, really good stuff. Beats Bills hit music station 99.5. So I'm going to leave the, I want to duplicate the beat. I want my one back in there again. Beats Bills hit music station. I'm going to end it there on that high. Hit music station. Hit music station. 90. I'm going to end it on that high hat. Beats Bills hit music station 99.5. Hits now. Bang. There you go. That sounds good. I like that. And then what I do, you know, I think sounds really cool on a station that's super, super active into how a, one event goes into another event. I love ramping it into something else. I mean, you got to be so on with your auxiliary marks and your EOMs, man. But I think it sounds so good when a station is like on top of that. That's what makes a station stand apart for me. Beats Bills hit music station. 99.5 hits now. So that whole thing has a heartbeat. That's in the wrong spot. You could tell. Uh, this kind of seemed, this effect kind of seemed like a... Beats Bills hit... That sounds slightly off. Bates Bills hit music station 99.5 hits now. Bates Bills hit music station 99.5 hits now. So I'm just going to go, you know, just for fun. I mean, I always picture EOMs in my head too. So this sounds good to me. I'd have, as I said, I'd have, I'd have 99.5 hits that now, but I didn't make room for it i have to put another effect in there so i'd have it at the start uh and then i got my beat mix beats bills hit music station 99.5 hits now there that sounds pretty good so now if i'm gonna take let's go back into sean mendez just to show you how i would want it to come over the air this is how i my eom on this Bad boy would be right there. And I would do the I would put this EOM in and I would preview it until I had it perfectly done. And I mean that you're up to the whoever's putting the music into, you're up to whatever they're doing, which is unfortunate. Uh I wish a whole station could be done by the producer that's producing for it. And he puts in the music, which I do on my state, on our station here. I put in all the mu like lots of the music to make sure that it's coming in at very solid times to match my elements. So let's see how that sounds, the whole thing. Beats 
Nashville's hit music station. 99.5 hits now. There you go. So that sounds pretty tight, man. This might have been off just a touch. Being the perfectionist that I am, I would definitely make sure that it was perfect. Batesville's hit music station. 99.5 hits now. It might be it might be me that's off too, uh, right here. So just. Batesville's hit music station. 99.5 hits now. <laughs> Can't tell me that doesn't sound good. Batesville's hit music station, 99.5 hits now. <laughs> so the only thing I noticed playing that through again was that this effect right here was a little loud. So let's just turn it down a touch. Uh, what's this one here? Let's, we could probably afford to turn that down too. So let's hear it again. And I mean, you can't even hear the effects. It, the whole thing should meld together really, really well. Like levels are very important. Levels are very, very important to make sure that everything melds together really nicely and that everything, when you mix it down, is going to have a similar, similar level. As I said, it's hard for me to do because I can't see it on my Axia. Batesville's hit music station, 99.5 hits now. That sounds pretty good, man. I don't know. I, To me, it does anyway. So anyway, I hope this helped you. Um, oh, sorry. My, the music was turned down. That should actually be louder. So that's turned down by minus four. See, this would go back into uh, a zero level. So I want to hear it one more time. And then I'd listen to this probably 30 more times before I ever put it to air. Batesville's hit music station, 99.5 hits now. <laughs> Done. There you go. That's a pretty solid B mix. Now, if I had any CHR stations that I actually produced for, I'd send it to them. I voice the CHR stations, but I don't actually uh, produce any currently. So, if you want me to produce for you, just let me know, right? All right, Gary out. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this helps you. Uh, if you do things differently, that's cool, man. Difference, difference, not wrong. Uh, I consider myself to be a very different producer, but the outcome is all that matters, right? So thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see any more videos, just let me know and I can put it up for you. Thanks guys. Bye.